Holy shit, it's finally fucking Thursday. This has been the longest week of my life. And kind of a shitty one. But I'm better. I mean, I'm sick today, but... Um... I don't really have anything to talk about. Well, I mean, I have a lot to talk about, but I don't really want to talk about it here. Haven't done jack shit all day. Went to class, my 8 o'clock, and then came back and slept for 3 hours. And didn't go to my individual practice because I was feeling sick. I feel kind of bad about that because it's really nice out, but eh, I got to sleep, so. But anyways, it might sound like I'm pretty bummed out, but I think that's just because I'm sick. I mean, I'm pretty much over it. <coughs> fuck me and my stupid ability to get over things in like a short time like this reminds me of when I was five and my cat got killed by Rottweilers and it died in my arms and then I cried for like two hours and then I was like dad can you get another cat and my parents were like that's when I know you knew you got over things quickly so but I don't really want another cat I want that cat but I can't have that cat sad Anyways, this whole thing has made me realize I have some really good friends here, so that's kind of cool. Like, on Sunday, my other roommate, Beth, heard me crying, and <laughs> she texted my roommate, Morgan, and Morgan was at dinner shoving cake into her face and dropped everything and came back and picked me up off the floor, like, literally picked me up off the floor because I was crying on my floor. And then they ordered me pizza, and her and her boyfriend and Beth tried to cheer me up. And then my RTC friends came back from their weekend camping adventure for their training and told me stories about camping and gave me a giant dog pile hug. So that was nice. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is kind of sad, but it made me feel better in a sick way. But this girl that I know from class asked me for my ecology notes because she hasn't been to class for a while and she was like yeah I haven't really left my bed and I was like oh have you been sick and she was like no I've just been crying and drinking and I was like oh and she was like yeah I found out my boyfriend had a wife and I was like oh shit man I'm like I thought things were shitty for me but man that blows she's like yeah we've been dating for a year and a half and we were gonna move to Denver together at the end of the summer and and then I wanted more, and he broke up with me because he couldn't give me more. And then I was went to his house to talk to him and saw this lady walk up with two kids. So she's like, shit. And then went to talk to the lady, and the lady was like, and was like, is Randy here? And she's like, yeah. And the wife wasn't even upset. She was just kind of like, oh, yeah. I kind of suspected, but I didn't really want to look into it. We've been married for 14 years, and this has happened before, so I'm just sorry it happened to you. And was like the fuck lady but this girl's like 24 and the guy was 36 and his wife was like 40 or something and they had a 16 year old ki they had a 16 year old kid and a 13 year old kid so yeah she's just been like spending a week in bed just crying and drinking alcohol so things could always be worse i guess um that's about all i have to talk about for this week probably the shortest video i'll ever make i don't know maybe it is at five minutes i don't really know um, me and Timon are coming home, so my teeth look really yellow. Me and Timon are coming home this weekend, so hopefully we'll get to see Stocking J and G-Wash. That'd be pretty cool. Um, oh, and Stocking J, don't want to be a negative Nancy, but lower your expectations about prom, otherwise you will be severely disappointed. So if you have low expectations, then you'll be surprised and you'll be happy, but just from experience, unless you have a lot of fun at dances normally, which I never did... Lower your expectations. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.